Not promising if I come back and the chance is there for me to show you guys this is my beautiful gown. I'm going to do that. But if there's no chance, forgive me, pardon my manners. Hmm? Possibly when next I'm going to put on this script. Of course, I'll show you guys. But if you get to see it, just know that I tried to manage my time and I was able to show you guys. So that being said, let's catch up with you guys later. My husband is the one driving and Daniel and Sammy there at the back. Danny, Sami, Oluchi, Emmanuel, in fact, the four of them, they are the, all the troublemakers in the house at the back. See the way Sami just defended himself. All the troublemakers and headaches that we have in this house, they are at the back. These are the only two innocent people. Have you been? It's only me and you that are innocent. All of us are innocent. All of us are innocent. After now, you start shouting that they are giving you a headache, they are giving you a headache. See, now you've denied on camera. Anyways, I'll catch up with you guys. I'll catch up with you guys later. We're running late. Whatever you have been pursuing, they say it cannot get to your head. If you turn that and it's that is released in the name of tree. I can't hear straight or right hand. Whatever that belongs to you, that the enemy covered with their demonic power, with their wickedness, they say you cannot have it. If there is God in heaven, as you turn that heaven seven times, this year you will celebrate it. Switch your right hand toward this. Hey guys, we just got back from church and um, I'm about to arrange food for everybody i had earlier cooked our fried rice i made it last night put it in the freezer and now i just want to fry the vegetables and mix it so that we'll eat lunch before i head out i have two places to go to there's a widow i'm going to pay a visit today um one of my subscribers messaged me and said i should um set up three widows so one of the widows will be getting her money today um then the second person is um the woman that gave birth to twins yeah that her husband abandoned and she's crippled she's on a wheelchair so i'm also going to be visiting her at army barracks so these are the two places i'm going to but then before that hmm? mom must shop now make you put something for belly <laughs> let me show you guys my vegetables that i'll be using for today's fried rice so this is our peas the one i bought and cut then these are three bell peppers the three bell peppers i'm going to be using then my carrots peas the seed then um sausage and um the sweet corn these are the vegetables i'll be using so you guys over here i was frying my vegetables ah see that beautiful look 
anyways, I gave you people false hope that I was going to show the final look of my fried rice. But unfortunately, I was so hungry and then I forgot. Pardon me. So guys, this was the next day after I cooked and, and enjoyed my fried rice. So I had to go for um, a meeting at Danny and Sammy's new school. They said it's orientation day, right? So that's where I'm currently at. Get you a partner like Sammy, a gist partner. He was so busy gisting me over here, keeping me company. So he has left me here because they, they called them to come up to the stage. And then I'm just alone here sitting and checking out my beautiful self. There he comes again. Our one and only Sammy saying hi to you all. Hey guys, we just closed from the school. Guys, we just closed from school, so I'm currently on my way to on my way back home. It took a longer time than I expected. Hey God, I thought it's just something you go in the morning because I, I was even saying that I was late. I thought it was just something you go in the morning, maybe the way I went around past 11 and then latest 12 1 at most one say two hours will be done but guys you won't believe it when i tell you that this is almost 3 p.m in the afternoon 3 p.m in the afternoon let me check and be sure this is 304 in the afternoon so it's it, it actually took a longer time than i expected anyways it's all for good. I really needed to stay and, you know, get, grab all the information because it's a new school. And thank God I was able to do that. So, so that I don't get to violate any of their, of their orders or their rules and regulations. So I'm going to catch up with you guys. I'm currently on my way home now. I'll catch up when I get home, right? Papa. <coughs> Emmanuel is still in shock. I saw again if one be here. See what he's looking at. Those chicken. Look who's here now. Pimpi. Papa. So you guys, um, this was just an emergency trip to my family house because. I didn't plan it. It was on a weekend. We didn't plan to go. And all of a sudden, my dad called us. <laughs> he called us oh, um, with his sickness. But at the end of the day, God took over the entire situation. See the way Emmanuel is just balancing here. He has never experienced this type of a thing. This boy was like on this day. Ah, So this type of a thing exists in this life. He was so comfortable down there. The way he struggled before I was I decided to put him down there let him just enjoy it while it lasts and he enjoyed it he was so happy having fun he didn't even listen to us he didn't even look for others he was busy looking at the chickens looking at the sheep like feeling the sand I mean make no judge me all of when I do this the way man where they do make no come here come the front porch now allow my baby to feel himself mm? after that we put antiseptic in his water and bit him, okay? <laughs> you cannot come to my family house without apple and bitter root soup. <laughs> Always available hmm? for enjoyment. This is homemade. You guys, we are here okay. to enjoy. This is a weekend of rest for me. Let me come and rest. For us. Mm. I'm excited starting up this vlog because um, Danny and Sammy are finally resuming school. Yes, we had a little delay. I had earlier, you know, did a vlog running up and down for the uh, school stuff and the rest of them but something happened and then we had a slight delay um, from the school about them resuming uh, with others so i think it's about two weeks i mean three weeks 
later now they're finally resuming um what happened is something i'm going to gist you guys someday um in a sit down video it's going to be a story time because it's a long story so later i'm going to gist you guys all about that because i had to change them from their school to another one so this is me starting off this vlog to tell you guys that finally my children are starting off their school and i'm so excited about that so i just got back now i went to pick up a delivery a package that was sent to me so i went to pick up a package that was sent to me um this is it is this going to be my size i don't think so okay she's there bullying dummy I can carry this one, don't worry. Eh, happy. You get booted that one. Happy is there key now, So, you guys, back to what I was saying. A subscriber sent these beautiful shoes to me. So guys, a subscriber sent these beautiful shoes to me. I'm doing this unboxing in the car, don't mind me. Um, she sent them to me. I don't know if they are going to be my size. This is size 8, right? That's 41. Yes, I think it's 41. Thank you so much for sending me this beautiful shoe. I sincerely appreciate it. She sent it to me on Instagram. I was like, Sandra, do you like them? And I said yes. So she sent me the shoes. I also, um, I'm just coming back, like I said before. I went to pick up these shoes. Then my clothes are the tailor, which I may be showing you guys in a vlog or possibly in this particular vlog. No, it has to be in another vlog. Then, um, what else? You guys already watched the video um, when I was doing the preparation of Danny and Sammy. Everything I had to go through for them to resume. So finally, they are resuming. And I'm so grateful to God that they're finally resuming because I wanted to change them. Trust me, it has always been on my mind to change them to a better school my girl just came to pick the things that i bought i have some other things here in the car of course that i'm going to take inside so stay tuned enjoy the rest of the video let me quickly go in and meet baby manuel this is past four in the evening i'm also going to be cooking later this evening my star journey is about to leave mm. her school is about to resume it's not going to be easy for me but of course yeah at least i have someone in the house but her presence has just made a whole lot of difference all this while but that being said, she still needs to go back to school. That's the truth. So I'm going to allow her to go back to school. But then she needs to be coming every weekend because I'm going to miss her. You guys are going to start seeing me again, again, and again in the kitchen. That's just what it means. Anyways, I need to let her go. She has tried. She has tried for me. She has spent like close to three months at home with me here in my house. So um, she has been so helpful. Finally, she's going to go back to school. Any moment from now, I'm going to miss her. <laughs> I'm going to miss her anyways i'll catch up with you guys later don't mind me i'm just kidding but it's 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 telling on me already it's telling on me like each day that breaks i keep imagining how i'm going to do without her chemaka is such a helping hand ah, let me not even say it catch up later yeah so this uh, about a few days after we left my family house and then i had to come down here every um two times in a day to come and give my dad insulin because um he was placed on insulin for about one week or thereabout so that's exactly what i was trying to do here see no sandra no sandra hey you want to try me you want to try me see what i'm doing <laughs> So I had to give him the insulin. That's my job for about one week. I did that hmm? since the nurses were forming hard to get at this point. Anyways, let's keep watching. So I'm just parked along the road, you guys. I just got to my destination. I was actually going to the market. The sun is out already. Everywhere is just shining. And the sun is going to descend on me now. Recently, my dad said um, sugar management became an issue because no matter what he eats the sugar keeps going up so it got me worried at some point because we've been trying to manage this we've been trying to manage it for god knows how long it's been over five years or four years that you know he was diagnosed of um, type 2 diabetes so we've been trying to manage it but then this time around no matter what he eats even the normal thing that he eats, like trying to avoid Gary, all those food, rice, yam, all those um, food that triggers high sugar level. Still, the sugar keeps going 
up and up to the point that it was 458 at some point so but for now to the glory of god we've been able to control it to a certain point it has come down to 176 um, because he has been on insulin for some time now which i go to my family as i shot to go and give him and when i'm not available i'll call my brother and then he will give him so that being said i need to quickly go into the market now to buy cocoa yam water yam um beans all those things that he eats right that calms down the sugar level that's exactly what i'm going to the market to buy now for him that's the only thing that brought me to the market because i still have things my sister cooks and stocked up my freezer for me before leaving the house so that being said i'm going to catch up with you guys later let me quickly go into the market and so guys i was back from the market already and then i was preparing to make this yummy delicious potato porridge vegetable potato porridge so these are my peppers i have um red pepper green pepper yellow pepper my onions just the normal ingredients for you know porridge crayfish salt and uh, what again seasoning cube that's what i'll be using for today over here i blended my pepper and everything so this is me trying to fry it you know for a while in the fire I love to fry my own. I don't like adding it like that. I later added ginger, sha. I added ginger. These days, I love adding ginger to everything. So you allow it to dry up a little bit like this, as if you're making stew. Then, um, you ha by then, you must have already washed your vegetables. Look at mine. Wash your vegetables and get, set it aside, you know, neatly washed. This one, I'm using green vegetable. This one is green vegetable like our normal green vegetable that you guys already know i don't know another name for it though green vegetable then my potato is already boiling on fire I, here yes i've added the the pepper sauce everything the pepper that i i fried earlier added my crayfish then the salt and the crayfish everything i'll just put in everything at this point because already i don't want the potato to be too soft my seasoning cube putting it already and then the vegetables will follow yeah here comes the green vegetables neatly washed so you add the vegetables because it's green vegetable it doesn't take time to done add it and just cover the pot for like one minute open it mix everything together and your yummy potato vegetable porridge is ready ah check it out now just check it out if you could not check them out Hey, this one is Usekundibo. Eh? Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.